mid-June. Hope you guys are doing well. And um, let's go jump right into it here. This is a general reading, so just take what resonates. Leave the rest here. Let's see what's got going on here for Taurus. First card out for you guys, we do have the Three of Swords. What's crossing is the Four of Wands. Recent past, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. Could be a family situation here. Your focus, we do have the King of Cups, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Could be someone that you lived with as well. Let's see your possibilities here. We do have the Three of Pentacles. A chance to rebuild something together here. Near future, we do have the Lovers. In your fields, we do have Strength. And let's see in your environment. The Eight of Cups. Hopes and Fears, we do have the Fool. And potential outcome here for Taurus, the Ace of Wands. Wow. And you have the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck here. Wow. Interesting. So there is an energy here. Um, you know, flip the energies if you need to. This could be you. This could be, uh, you know, someone around you or a person that you're thinking about. But, you know, we start off the reading here with the Three of Swords. And then what's crossing is the Four of Wands. Um, it kind of feels like more of a situation where you lived with someone before. This could be a family situation. Um, it's just someone that you've known for a very long time. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles here, it feels as though maybe there was some sort of stability here with someone. Like I said, living with them. And uh, there's an opportunity here that someone wants to rebuild. You know, with the Three of Pentacles, it's like starting something, you know, coming together and trying to start something new. Um, with the Lover's card, it's like they've grown feelings or they have some sort of like um, apology, not wanting to, you know, it's like more of a regret, but it kind of let them open up their heart a little bit. That's kind of what's going on. Now with you being over here, you have strength, okay? So there's Leo energy. It's like an energy of you. You've been strong. You've been kind of taking things day by day and um, really taking your time to build yourself back up. Um, you've walked away quite a bit here. Um, and I think you've walked away from a lot of different situations, not just one situation, but whatever situation you've been walking away from, it's like every time becomes easier. You're able to tackle this these issues or whatever comes up a little bit more, um, yeah, just easier than before. I mean, it's just something that you're just you're building more self-confidence for yourself. Now, in your hopes and fears, you do have the fool here, so there's a sense that you want to start something new, um, or at least you have an idea, because the outcome here is the Ace of Wands, okay? So there is either an idea coming towards you, or you have an idea where you want to go. Uh, but you do have somebody chasing you here. This is someone that did not want you in the past, Four of Cups, didn't see your value. Um, so again, you know, this could be a romantic connection. Um, or this could be, you know, take what resonates in terms of, you know, where it fits in your life. But I think this could be a work situation, too, where you felt underappreciated, not valued. And, um, you know, you walking away, or you disconnecting from this situation uh, made this person realize who you are. I mean, that's really what it is. Um, Ten of Pentacles, like I said, this is someone that... Um, or, you know, this, for some of you guys, you could have thought this was it. This was the long-term situation here for you so let's see let's see what's going on <clears throat> let's get a little bit deeper here what is the three of swords for taurus what's the three of swords here for taurus you have the five of cups and the seven of swords and you have the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck here so for a lot of you guys there's a situation that you have seen some sort of clarity you know, this could be you just realizing that you've been putting a lot of time and energy into something here, but you haven't, you know, there was nothing coming out from it. Um, you could be around people, or maybe you associated yourself with people that were just taking, like, um, seeing how far they can push you, you know, what they can get out of you. I mean, that's that's the energy that I'm seeing here, okay? Seven of Swords, it's like a very sneaky energy, too, playing mind games with you, you know? Um 
trying to act as if they're very close to you, but in, at the same time, they they don't really care, you know, what they do to you because they're looking after themselves. Okay. Um, interesting. Let's see the four of wands. Four of wands being your challenge here. Let's see. This. Yeah, four of wands. Yeah, the seven of pentacles and the hermit. Okay, so I did mention there's there was a lot of time and energy put into something here. Okay, seven of pentacles. You've been trying to see if this is going to go anywhere, you know? Um, and the hermit energy here, it's like you kind of went within. You kind of took a little break here. And it was like a, a sense of you pausing your energy, or not necessarily pausing your energy, but taking a break, taking a pause, um, and trying to evaluate what situation that you're in, you know? Something here was was just not working out here for you, um, or you feel like as something's not working out, and you want to move towards something else. Let's see what the Fool is all about here. You have the Four of Cups and the Two of Wands. So you're making a decision here to move towards something that you're very passionate about, something that you you feel as though you're being called to this uh, destination, this 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 path. You, you, you feel like inside that you're just not in the right spot right now and you need to move forward into something new, okay? So the Ace of Wands being your outcome, I feel like there's a new idea or a new start to something here that you're very passionate about. Let me see the focus here. The King of Cups, what's this King of Cups all about here for Taurus? You have the devil, okay? So there's a sense of, you know, there is possibly another connection around you. Um, it could be romantic. It could just be a friend. It could be a coworker, you know, whatever it is. But, you know, someone's trying to tie you down, you know, trying to keep you, keep you held back, you know, not wanting to see you move forward here. Um, and this could be, you know, saying different things, um, but not necessarily in a... Um, negative way it kind of feels like more like um being polite about it acting as if they care for your feelings but they don't you know it's like um um it's, it's just like a crazy energy of like um you know you know it's like a boss you know maybe someone is saying that you are doing a good job but then all of a sudden they come around they say you're not doing a good job you know something like that it's like really messing with your emotions up and down you know that's kind of the energy that i'm seeing there um i do see you walking away from that because six of pentacles is like you you're looking for something that is going to be more equal give and take you know a balance into whatever you're working on here okay let's see the eight of cups because you are walking away you have the hangman you're looking at something in a different different perspective here you know you're taking new opportunities you have the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck here there's something new starting and coming for you okay but with the two of wands here it's like you made the decision you made the move to move forward and um and some sort like i said some sort of idea something here kicks up here for you and um and you're not telling anyone about it the five of swords but it's the wheel the wheel comes out it's like this luck this so change this um Something changes in your favor here where you're going to be like, all right, this is, you're going to know what, which path you're supposed to go towards. Very nice energy that you're moving towards, okay? A lot of you guys, depending on where you're at in your journey here, is just a realization of like who you are. And it's like you, you kind of find yourself, for some of you guys, you kind of find yourself in this um, energy of almost repeating, not repeating, but almost repeating something again, you know, but you caught it pretty quick here and you're moving towards something else uh, but there is an idea there's a new passion a beginning here there's something here that you want to do and you're going to try to try to do it and that's going to be different for a lot of people there's going to be a situation where someone can actually stop what they're doing and move towards something new you know with no questions asked but for a lot of people it's, it's trying to work a situation out while you're starting something new so you know if this is a business it's like you're you're currently working in a situation or a place that you're at and you're starting on the side something new you know um something like that but there's definitely a shift moving towards what you want here okay king of swords at the bottom of the deck let's get three cards overall and um 
We'll get an oracle here for you. The Page of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. Um, so there is energy of being stressed out. Sleepless nights. Um, you know, this is this is like a this is someone that is like you know waking up at one, two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, and just kind of wondering, you know, what what's next, you know. Um, because th inside there's a feeling of you're not happy with a situation or, um, you know, if this is a past situation, you're not, you're not happy. You're not even wanting to deal with that right now. There's something here that you want to work on. Um, and this could be just very well with, you know, with the Knight of Wands here. It's like you kind of want to get back out and enjoy, you know, have fun, travel, do stuff. Um, I feel like you're getting sucked into an energy of just repeating something that's like autopilot and you're trying to get out of that. You know, you caught it pretty quick or you're catching it, but it does put you into like, um, you know, some sort of mental, um, you know, just being stuck mentally, you know, um, overthinking situations, you know, things like that here. But you are looking into something new. So it's like, you know. Really, if there's any advice, it's like, you know, do your research. Um, you know, if, you, if you're not liking a situation, you want to move towards something different, you know, start doing the homework, start doing the plan or make a plan to move forward here. Move away from this, this devil energy, this toxicity, um, whatever energy is trying to hold you back from being successful. You're going to have to transit into something new here. And again, you know, the Ace of Wands being your outcome, this could be just an idea or you just following your passion and realizing that that's the that that's what makes you happy you know there's nothing else here i mean it's kind of one of those things where if you're passionate if you're a um an artist you know you want to be you know um doing that instead of you know delivering packages you know what i mean like there's a sense of like you knowing who you what you want to do and you want to pursue it now you know um, and, and there's luck on your side here, Wheel of Fortune here, you know, coming out to clarifying the Ace of Wands. Um, there's definitely luck on your side. So you have the Ace of Wands, the Five of Swords, and, and the Wheel of Fortune. So the Five of Swords here is really protecting your idea, you know, not letting everyone know what you're up to, what your next move is, you know, keep moving in silence here. And, um, you know, I feel as though there's going to be a break, a lucky break here that you don't even see it coming, but it's just you pursuing your passion. And it's like you get some sort of help, uh, but it's you making that decision. All right, Taurus. Um, so let's get you guys an oracle. I'll be coming out with some more videos for you guys. Um, so if you guys have not subscribed, please do so. And uh, if this resonated, hit the like button. That would be appreciated. And uh, for those that have subscribed to this channel, appreciate your support. And um, if you have any questions, the email there is in the description box. I did turn off the comments. There's been, you know, I, I, normally in this channel, we never really got any crazy comments or anything like that. But, you know, um, don't really have time to monitor the comments. So if you do have questions or anything like that, the email address is there in the description box. So feel free. Um, we do have Tiger coming out as your card. Let's see what that is about. Number 34. <clears throat> All right. So your card is the Tiger, which means will. Exercise your will and determination in ethical ways. Do not place your will over another's. You do not have control over anyone but yourself. Do not be afraid to be fierce, especially as a woman. We can ride our healthy anger, but we must eventually transform it into something more useful. Okay, so that is your reading, Taurus, um, and until next time, we'll see you. You guys have a good one.